So welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge Amazon haul for you that I'm super excited about because I saw a lot of these Amazon pieces like circulating on social media and I was always like a little bit hesitant because I didn't know whether it was because like these influencers were partnered or sponsored by Amazon or if it was just like genuinely good quality. So I placed a really, really big order of like all the pieces I've been eyeing and I wanted to share with you guys. I'll give you like my really, really honest feedback on it. I'll start with the ones that I love the very, very most. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. This is probably the piece that I find myself wearing the very most out of everything that I've bought. And it's because it's just like so casual and it feels really expensive. I feel like it has a little bit of weight. It's very, very tightly knit and it holds its structure really well, um, which is qualities that I think a lot of quite expensive pieces have. So this piece was $49.50 and I feel like it definitely feels and looks a little bit more expensive. The material is really good and I feel like the neckline is super flattering. It has like a nice rib detail. I got this in a small and it fits perfectly for me right underneath my butt so I feel like it doesn't like show anything if I want to just wear it with leggings and it's just like a really nice versatile piece the next piece that I want to show you guys is also like probably my favorite it is this um, v-neck kind of midi dress it comes up to like my calf and this is like the softest thing ever. It's so stretchy, it's so comfortable. I feel like the V is a little bit high for my preference and so it cuts off like right by my armpit, um, but it's not uncomfortable and it only comes in one size, but it's super stretchy. I'm so excited for the weather to get warmer so I can style this. I would wear it with like a really cute like long line cardigan or like an open cardigan, um, or you can even wear like a sweater on top of it with like a nice crossbody. I just feel like it'll look so cute. And then also the back um, has like a slit so it's really comfortable to walk. This dress was $29.90. I feel like it's so good for the price and I just really love it. Ugh, it's just so soft. It's like so soft and comfortable. I want to wear it now even though it's like not warm enough. <laughs> okay, anyways, this is like my favorite. And then the next thing I got is this open cardigan. It has this bell sleeve and it's a little bit tight by here. So I got a medium because that's the only size they had in stock when I was ordering it. It's like perfectly oversized and it looks really good. It's like so soft too. This one is like very, very soft, um, but it is a little bit thin. Like when you run your fingers like this, you can like almost feel your fingers. It does have a little bit of like the fuzz that comes up like this um, that also has like a potential to pill if you wash it too often, but um, that's the only like thing I would say about it. Other than that, I feel like it's really cute. The more that we all like work from home and like we stay at home all day, pieces like this are so necessary in your wardrobe. They're like cute and comfy and like you just feel like you need to hold a coffee mug or something. Maybe that's just me. The next piece that I got is a shacket. I feel like shackets have been so popular. I've just been seeing them everywhere. And so I really wanted to pick up one. I don't love it. Um, and I think everything is because personal preference. So it's really oversized and I heard that it runs big. So I got it in an X small and I think it fits like perfectly. It's really nice. It lounges and like sits back really nicely. Um, but I don't love like the mohair kind of texture of it it has like this fuzziness um, other people might love that so it's really like personal preference and then the inside is this material um, which I find to be a little bit itchy when I wear it with like a sweater or a long sleeve under it's so warm because of this like inside material but if I'm wearing like a short sleeve then I do find that it like continues to bother me a little bit it has pockets which is great um, but the pockets are right by like the the edge of the jacket and so if I want to like put my hands in because the jacket is like oversized and it slouches back a little bit, I have to like kind of reach back for the pocket and like pull it forward, which is like not the most comfortable thing. But other than that, I feel like it's like a great jacket. I think this was um, $69.90. So it's like not cheap, um, but it's not so expensive considering that it's like an outerwear piece. 
Next is, okay, I'll, I'll do this sweater that I'm wearing now. This is the Alice sweater from The Drop and it is so soft and so comfortable and so cozy like i just want to like stay in it all day they have this in a cream and i wanted to get the cream but they didn't have it in my size in stock so i just got the black this isn't an extra small and i feel like it's like perfectly true to size because if i had sized up for like a more oversized fit it would have been too long by the sleeve so this itself like is oversized as is so i would say just order your regular size but it has this like bell sleeve which i really really like i think it's so nice and flattering and then it has a slit in the back which adds like a really nice detail this sweater was 39.90 and i feel like it fits right at its price point the only concern i have or like the only thing that makes me think a little bit is that if you look closely the sweater has a little bit of like the fuzz and like the material that comes up and potentially like after a lot of washes and wears i feel like it might pill um, but i haven't worn it enough or washed it enough to know that but i see that like that could happen and i might have to use that like machine thing to get rid of the fuzz so that's the only thing other than that like it's so cozy and then the next sweater that i want to show you guys is um a no for me i saw this sweater a lot on instagram and a lot of people were just like it's so casual it's so nice i like the fit of it i like how it looks however i would not pay 49.90 for it this is like a slouchy v-neck sweater the fit itself is nice it tightens a little bit by the arms it tightens a little bit down here however the material is something that i feel like you could find absolutely anywhere for a cheaper price when i think about this material it really reminds me of like the sweaters that H&M used to make like so long ago before like this material like was popular or like existed I feel like this was the material that most sweaters would come in it's a little bit in my opinion just like you know like not too difficult to find and I just wouldn't pay $50 for something like it ever again so that's what I think about this sweater the next thing I want to show you guys is are these high-rise skinny jeans um i really like them i got them in a size 24 and they fit perfectly i just have to cuff it in or like cut it at the bottom i think i'm gonna cut it because i like the little fringe when you cut it anyways they are really stretchy really comfortable they fit really nicely on the body and i was particularly looking for like a dark washed not black but like almost blackish dark gray kind of fade so I feel like I found one that's like perfect for what I was looking for. So I really like these. The only issue I see with it is because it's not 100% cotton, it has a little bit of like the spandex, the elastane material. I feel like that's the reason why, I could be completely wrong, but I feel like that's the reason why it, it tends to like collect a little bit of lint. If I'm like sitting on carpet or I sit somewhere that has a little bit of fuzz, it sticks onto the pant and it might just be more obvious um, because of the jeans are so dark but that's like the only issue i see with them other than that they're like really comfortable and really good for just everyday wear um but yeah that did bother me a little bit when i was wearing them okay and then the last thing that i want to show you is this dress it's a maxi dress that has ruffles and tears and i'm really excited to wear something like this in the summertime i feel like it's gonna be so cute when you like go on a nice lunch picnic with your girlfriends or like if you're going to the beach or like by the water um it's just really flowy really comfortable and the material reminds me of something that like you'd get at free people it's a little bit like low but it's not so low i'll show you guys what it looks like and you can even make it lower it comes in the back with like this adjustable button there's only two um but yeah that's a thing and then it also has this like elastic in the back which is like really comfy and stretchy and then the best part about this dress is that there's pockets and that's just like so comfortable i love pockets and it's like really subtle you can't see it but then like when you're wearing it it's just like the best it's like so comfortable to just put your hands inside so yeah i'm really excited i feel like this would be really cute with like a sun hat or like 
I don't know, even like a fedora or something like that. So that is everything that I got on Amazon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. Like I mentioned before, I just really have been seeing so much of Amazon's clothes on my Instagram and on social media. And so I really wanted to like test it myself and see if some of these things are worth the money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so, and please let me know if there's like anything else you want me to review or like give my honest feedback on. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!